I am literally skin of my teeth this morning. Hi everyone, sorry about the washing machine. Um, I need to be over to Rustington for one o'clock-ish uh, and it's now ten past twelve. Uh, I'm just rustling around at the moment trying to tidy the house and whatnot. I'm going to Rustington because it's Tracy's or would have been Tracy's Christmas fair today at where she works. I'm going to go over and say hello to everyone this afternoon. Um, so yeah, we better do. Let's hope it's just something nice and easy today. Uh, that's a big tin. That's a, ah, that feels quite nice. Let's have a go at that one. You are the chosen one. And the sun has come out, and let's see what's in here today. Oh, this one's well wrapped. Oh, it's a tin. And it is. Oh, I like this. One of Tracy's favourites. Eat off. Macaroni cheese like. And I might that have that on these. Marmite rice cake. Again, cheese. Lovely. Lovely. Right. Tuck in. Nice. I opted for a bit of toast. I thought the Marmite crackers might be a bit. Crackers. Tracy used to do a lovely homemade mac and cheese. Make her own sauce and everything. And cauliflower cheese, she did. So I was going to do an unboxing this morning. But I got overly consumed with a piece of work that I needed to finish for someone. And then... I have some houseworky bits to do, like changing the bed. I'm trying to get a Friday routine going now, so that the weekends, rather than spending most of Saturday doing housework, I could just sort of do do a bit in the morning, like I don't know, cleaning the bathroom or something. I need to get like a routine, so today I've stripped off the bed, which was something I do, do did usually on a Saturday, but I think Friday it just makes life easier. So I stripped off the bed, washed it, made the bed up with fresh linens, just put another clothes wash in about an hour ago. I have to go on the air. And then I've got all the towels to do and so that'll be done later this afternoon when I get back. Toast was a bit burnt, but never mind. Mac and cheese, mac and cheese. So yeah, I'll do, I'll do my unboxing tomorrow morning. And I've got to make the gingerbread house as well. And I need to go to the allotment, which will probably be Sunday morning. I'll look at the weather, see what the weather's doing, then I can decide. I definitely want to do my unboxing tomorrow. Well, you can't beat mac and cheese on toast. Um, so I literally have to give that 10 out of 10. And it was one of Tracy's favourites too. 
Right, I better scoot. Hi everybody, so I have made it to Aldi in Rustington. Uh, had my £10 voucher so I purchased two bottles of wine for Christmas for that, for visitors. Uh, popped over to Tracy's work, it was really lovely to see people, it was a little bit emotional. Um, I haven't been there since well, since the last time me and Tracy went there to t tell her, her manager, that her cancer had come back. So it felt a bit, you know, a bit funny at first. But it was nice, I enjoyed it. It was nice to see people and catch up with people and see, see what everyone's doing in their lives. Uh, so I'm at Aldi. Uh, Stroke next, stroke tappy carpet place, stroke mini showroom behind me. Um, so I'm going to drive now over to Little Hampton and do my weekly shop. Oh, look what I got as well. Sausage rolls. I've had a sausage roll for ages. So uh, looking forward to them. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go to the supermarket now and do my weekly shop I haven't got a lot to get but I've got a pair of slippers that I bought in the week to take back I seem to be having a problem with slippers this year I ordered three pairs from Fat Face and none of them fitted they were they were like my normal size so I then went up to a size 43 and they were still too small so I sent all three pairs of them back and then uh, I bought another pair in the week from another slipper seller and they didn't fit, they were too small as well and they're size 42 so what's going on in the world of slippers? Slipper World magazine, wouldn't that be good? So yeah, I better make a move to um, before the traffic starts to build and I get angry with all the bad driving and the person in the car next to me thinks I'm completely nuts. to the supermarket car park and I have been into the DIY shop and got a hacksaw to sort my bike saddle out and now I will brave the supermarket actually the car park isn't too busy doesn't look too bad yes so I will get my list out of the boot my trolley and have a good look round the supermarket. Getting quite windy and it's quite cold out there at the moment on this Friday, the 7th of December 2018. Uh, Don't know what's on telly tonight. Anyway, let's get this boot up, get my bags, and get shopping. Hi everyone. It's about quarter past five on Friday evening. Um, I've had a good day today. Uh, I think it's helped being around people, being with people, people um, who are obviously still grieving for Tracy as well. Um, 
So yes, it was nice and I would say that today has been a better Friday than probably any previous Friday. So, and I put that down to the fact that I was with people today. Um, so then after that, I took myself off to Halfords because I had to get a bike lock for my bike. Um, and I didn't realize how many different bike locks there are now in the old days. It was just the padlock and that was it, whether it was a key one or a combination but now there's all sorts of you can spend a hundred pound on a bike lock basically but then if your bike is worth several thousand pounds then it's probably worth spending that money so anyway I didn't spend that sort of money but I was about halfway there uh, so yeah I've got that I've picked up my hacksaw so hopefully I'll be able to sort the saddle out tomorrow and then be able to sort the suspension out in fact, I might not be able to do that till Sunday because I've got a lot on tomorrow. Uh, yes, and I've been shopping as well. Um, so tonight I've just got myself a pizza for tea. Quick and easy, bung it in the oven, job done. Uh, and I will probably just catch up with some YouTube and whatnot. And yes. Right, I suppose I'd better... Oh, I'll show you my lock. Here it is. So it's called a kryptonite and this is just the loop cable for when it's in the shed I can loop it around the workbench in there uh, so if they want to take it they'll have to take my workbench as well so that's my lock I suppose I better read up a, read up how you use it I assume there's a key in there or something it's got a lifetime guarantee and it's very heavy I might have to get something a bit more, mind you, I don't like leaving my bike out when I'm out and about anyway, so. So that's my, that's my lock. Petal's having a wash. I suppose I better feed her. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much shopping done, isn't it, Petal? Better hide this, that's someone's Christmas present and we don't want that appearing in the vlog. Whilst I was um, sorting out the uh, some of the Christmas stuff in the back bedroom. I found Hillary, the Nutcracker. Hooray, let's get her out of the box. It truly is. I think one of the best Nutcrackers ever. <laughs> I love it. I, I mean, this was just in a local, like, very small independent supermarket. They have all sorts of quirky things there in their homeware department. And this was just there and it was like in the summer, I think. And I weren't in the market for getting a new nutcracker, but I saw this and I just thought, I'm gonna have to have it. I've literally just walked outside the door and I didn't know this, but the International Space Station's just going over. And I'm just off on a village walk. I don't know if you can see that. £375 for Christmas tree. Blimey. So I decided to go for a little walk around the village. Saw the International Space Station literally going over the house as I came out the door. So that was quite strange coincidence. I haven't put any moisture on. I've had a wash but I haven't moisturised. I have to do that. My skin feels a bit dry. Anyway, it's Friday night, I got pizza. Uh, let's see what's in the linked advent calendar. Right, day seven. I ain't got my specs on. Uh, there's six, there's nine. 17 there, two. Oh, oh there it is. Day seven, what will it be? I reckon it's gonna be a train. Oh, it's a ball again. You're not having it. I can see you, you're not having it. It's chocolate, chocolate. 
His Lucky Number by Lynn Lovich. Six alarms. Six alarms. Oh, the sausage roll. That is lush. <laughs> 